Hey y'all, happy Memorial Day weekend. I'm Ben White, coming to you from my front yard here on Newton Lake in Haddon Township. We were talking last night about how a Christian celebrates Memorial Day. Good question, especially uh, this year in 2020, when we're wondering all about how the church opens up and, and by the way, it was never closed and uh, and how like how we're gonna have meetings together? What we have cells in Circle of Hope that are smaller group meetings. When can they happen? And of course, our Sunday meeting. When can that happen? We were kind of weighing all the consequences of of what it would mean to be together in person and how that would work. The CDC guidelines in uh, Pennsylvania and Philadelphia, our region, have all been loosening up. Uh, the Jersey Shore is open this weekend. The Ocean City Boardwalk is going to be open. And that's a big thing to do usually on Memorial Day. But what do we do now when we're wondering how to take care of the most vulnerable around us? What does it mean to love our neighbor during COVID-19 has been our constant question. We're not listening to the government to tell us what to do. We're, we're, uh, we're listening to them to advise us. But our main motivation and our main uh, purpose is to love and to love well. And what does that mean? We discovered last night as we were talking about it uh, around my fire pit over Zoom, I was the only one at the fire, that we are not of one mind about this. And why would we be? Uh, our government is giving us lots of messages and they're very mixed between governors and presidents and Congress and uh, CDC. There's all kinds of different things out there and it leaves us kind of feeling like, what are we supposed to do with all this? And there are lots of different opinions about it and lots of different personalities uh, that uh, kind of bring themselves up in the conversation. People that are more risk takers, people that are uh, more re rebellious naturally. And then also there are physical conditions that people have that really are gonna dictate how they feel about this. Um, and uh, different risks that people are gonna take are gonna be uh, maybe even sometimes private that we don't even know about. Um, so what do we do? How do we celebrate Memorial Day? Do we go to the Jersey Shore? Do we go to the boardwalk? Uh, I'm going to say no. Uh, I, and it, of course, the, all those different things that I just mentioned, I have all those things. I'm coming at it with this context. But my number one motivation is how am I going to love my neighbor and how am I going to love the least of these? And the least of these, I think, in this condition are those that are um, most vulnerable to the virus. And, you know, Almost 100,000 people have died, and that's nothing to sneeze at, even though it's not um, the millions that we feared at the beginning of the crisis in February. It's been a very confusing and difficult time for everyone. So um, I understand if we're, we're kind of uh, ready to get out, bust out the bikinis and, uh, and the short shorts and be on the boardwalk and uh, eat the candy and all that. but. Uh, I think it's best if we continue to stay at home as much as we can and to find ways to uh, creatively express ourselves and stay connected to uh, each other uh, via artif uh, <laughs> artificial means, I was about to say. Uh, technological means like this, I'm talking to you over a video. I know how terrible that is. I'm feeling you on that. I really want to be connected. Uh, kind of breath to breath with you, but it's our breath that's the most dangerous thing right now. Uh, crazy. Another thing we considered about how to celebrate Memorial Day is the 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 classic uh, conversation for Memorial Day is that this patriotic holiday that is used to perpetuate a story about sacrifices for freedom. the The belief is that those who died. Uh, in Americans in, in the United States' wars are heroes because they have uh, laid their life down on the, the altar of freedom. And I, I definitely believe that that is a false God and it's a false story, both about how history works and definitely about how Christian discipleship works. I think violence has proven itself throughout the course of human history to beget more violence. I think that in the United States case here in the 21st century, the main purpose of war is to in rich those who are rich from making arms. I think that the, the, the policies and the, the decisions of our government and the way that the, the powerful people are all uh, interconnected and related um, makes it clear to me that uh, this is a, a terrible, uh, disgusting game. But I also get why people believe it. 
because it, they are very scary times and there's there are convenient there's conveniently a lot of people in this world that are that are very dangerous and terrible and um, uh, the, the government finding ways to um, tell a story that that there's a threat I totally get that because the threat might be real but we have not imagined yet how to creatively uh, respond to these problems other than war our, our imaginations have been completely colonized by war and violence as the way to solve uh, geopolitical problems and even interpersonal problems mostly but Jesus got us off of that train Jesus freed us from that cycle he died on the cross to end the cycle of violence forever he had he had an empire to rebel against he had a just cause he had a revolution that he could have led and been a hero himself and he explicitly said that's not what he came to do and he explicitly told us to love our enemies to turn the other cheek to bless those who who persecute us bless do not curse he repeated himself again and again and his disciples did so as well by dying in the way that he died at the hands of an unjust government protecting ourselves our lives our freedom is not the Jesus way uh, somewhere along the way in Christian discipleship, we decided that that was a, um, a technicality that we could get around somehow. Um, but I think the best way to celebrate Memorial Day is to remember um, another way and to memorialize war, to imagine a future in which war needs a memorial, in which we remember that we used to kill each other to solve our problems. The, the death of all these soldiers I honor because I think they died, most of them, believing that they were loving their neighbor. And I wish that they had had leaders that led them with a stronger imagination and a closer heart to Jesus because so many of them claim to be Christians. But as it stands, we're living under this lie. We're living under uh, uh, a captivated imagination. And uh, I honor the, the sentiment of those, those, those men and women's sacrifice. Um, I honor the, their desire to love their neighbor. I just wish that we had figured out how to do it in a better way. And so I, I remember those who died and I, I pray for uh, a death to war uh, because I think Jesus died that death for all of us already some 2,000 years ago, but we have still not revealed it fully. And so Circle of Hope, from loving our neighbors in COVID-19 to loving our enemies uh, in COVID-19 Memorial Day uh, and, and, and all Memorial Days. I think that's how a Christian celebrates Memorial Day and uh, I hope this stimulates you uh, on this weekend. I'm gonna put it out there and, and see what you say. Love to hear back from you. Peace.